Well, I play Pericles, who's uh, a, a young prince of Tyre at the beginning of the play, a young, young chap who sets off on an adventure, and by the end of the play he's sort of 20 years older than when he started. So the, the play is a, uh, is a bit of an odyssey, it's a journey, um, it's kind of, he, he, um, Pericles gets on, is a sailor, he, you know, he has a bunch of boats behind him and he sails around the world and falls in love and loses the people he loves and finds them again. And so it's kind of an adventure story. Uh, it's, it's quite a romantic play too, I think. You know, it's, um, Pericles is an idealistic young man who is going out into the world and, and asking what fate is and what time is and how does he fit into the world, you know. The Elizabethans thought that kings and queens were God's representatives on earth. So um, Pericles is going, well, okay, I'm God's representative on earth, then why isn't everything going my way? You know, why, why does the sea eat me up in a storm and throw me out and I lose everything and I was a prince and now I have nothing? What does this mean? Who am I? You know? So it's quite sweet, really. You know? So he sets off to find out who he really is, you know. Uh, and it's nice to see a young man who has everything lose it all and then through the trials and tribulations of life, of fate, the test of time, he learns humility and he learns about the world and humanity and eventually he gets all that he wants, he gets it, but it takes him far longer than he ever thought it would. And somehow that rings true, it feels like a, a, a really uh, a, a lovely story, you know, and it feels, I, I, I can certainly relate to that in my own life, you know, that things, I've, I've gotten what I wanted, but it's taken me many more years to, to achieve it. Uh, what I thought I wanted and what I needed were two different things, um, and I think that's true of Pericles, you know, I think. A lot of people get confused because Pericles have studied ancient Greek philosophy or history and they get the figure of Pericles and they think Pericles is a Greek tragedy or something but it's not, it's a Shakespearean uh, adventure story really, a tragic comedy or an adventure story. Well, actually a really good show for kids. In fact, if you, have, if you have young children and you want to expose them to Shakespeare, this is probably the one to bring them to because it's very plot driven. You, um, you can, it's easy to understand what's happening. That, you know, um, uh, the language is not that in, intense. You know, you can, it's accessible, it's an accessible Shakespeare. If you don't know it, you'll follow it. There's a lot of colour and movement, and it's very entertaining, and it's, it's a well-meaning adventure story. So I think, actually, kids would really love it. And John Gayden, of course, is, plays Gower. I could listen to John Gayden read the phone book and, and find it interesting, you know. Not unlike John Bell, actually, you know, they're you know, such wonderful performers. Um, Tychos uh, come from a very heavy discipline, you know, uh, and, and indeed, when you look at a lot of Japanese performance, it's all, it's historic, isn't it? It's, and it's, they, they just play the one type and they work, that they may just work on, you know, doing the same movement for 25 years. So the quality of their work is extraordinary, but they're also, they're opening up, their physicality and their, their way of being is quite different to our Western kind of way. And so it's rather challenging for us, but ultimately it's opening the play up to areas that we would never go in had we not been working with Tychos. Uh, their drumming, they're just the, the sheer kind of exuberance and, uh, of their drumming, of their drumming, the exuberance of their drumming is electrifying. You know, you, you can't uh, defy anyone to fall asleep in the theatre while they're drumming, that's for sure. You know, like, they're, it's quite exciting. Uh, there's nothing like having uh, real people there singing and dancing and bashing things to really kind of touch you in, in a way that is um, that's not intellectual but goes beyond that, that that is visceral and is an experience that you are part of I think. Uh, we've actually got a boat on stage that we're kind of wheeling at this because there's a few storms and things on Pericles gets caught in a storm and, and, and shipwrecked. That would be great fun. There's sort of echoes in this in Pericles of, of a lot of other Shakespearean plays. There is a bit of Lear in there, although Lear's kind of fighting the storm. Pericles is going, okay, I get it. 
I'm a guy, I'm just a man, I have to yield to the, to the greater forces, to the wind and the thunder. I, you know, I, I get that, you know. <laughs> it's sort of like wanting to learn, wanting to be open, whereas Leah is saying, I don't have to, I'm the king. But it's still, a ki it's still royalty dealing with uh, the elements, and the elements of being in opposition to, to the psyche of royalty. Yeah, I'm actually dying to have a go at those drums. I'll be hitting those drums for sure. They, they, they look great, don't they? God, they're amazing. They're amazing, those people. Mm, Taikos. I want to be a Japanese drummer when I grow up. <laughs>